Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have got a new toy to play with. We're gonna do a review on this thing, so stick around. So here's the deal. We were at Woodcraft a couple weeks ago and we ran across these tools, kind of played with them a little bit, talking to the rep. He sent us some tools to do a review on. Full disclosure, these were given to us. As always, we're gonna do an honest review. We're gonna run it through the paces, but I'm super excited to get into this. So let's pop this box open and see what we got. So the kit comes with all of the pieces, the bag, the charger, the battery, the blade, obviously the saw, the instructions. So let's start putting it to the test. All right, guys, we're back in the studio. We ran it through a bunch of tests and first impressions, man, I love this thing. I know we're gonna use this thing from now on. I've used a lot of circular saws. This is by far got the most features and especially for being cordless, this thing is a beast. I love it. So one of the things that I noticed is this thing is heavy. In my mind at the time, I was thinking that's probably kind of on the con side, but the more I used it, the more I realized, number one, it wasn't quite as heavy as my corded circular saw. It actually had more stability, I think, because of the weight. It just felt really sturdy and solid and heavy duty. It just felt like it was a really quality piece of machinery. The other thing on first impression is, man, this thing is cool looking. I just love the way it looks. You just want to walk around with it in your head because it's fun to look at. Hey guys, you guys know that I'm not big on instruction and owner's manuals and all the booklets, but not on this one. I read this book front to back because I really, there was a lot of little things on this saw that I wanted to know what they were. I gotta say, the instruction booklet, the owner's manual, was right on the money. Not like some other tools that we've looked at in the past. This thing was really, really comprehensive. The instructions were great. The illustrations were full size. Everything was great about this owner's manual. So let's talk about some specifics. This is a six and a half inch, 24 volt inline circular saw. So now on the box, it says this is the world's first inline circular saw. The reason they call it inline is because on every other circular saw that I've ever used, the motor is either sitting over on the left or it's sitting over on the right. This thing is slim. If you look at it from on top, it is truly in line and it's slim, which makes it so cool. I never even thought that that was a thing, but you, if you're left-handed or you're right-handed, you can look right down on the blade and see what the blade is doing. This inline thing, I didn't think would be a big deal but it's got balance and the fact that you can see the blade where it's cutting. Many times in the past, I have clamped a straight edge to a board and that motor always seems to be in conflict with that. That's not the case here because nothing sticks out past the foot or the plate of the actual saw. Nothing protrudes beyond that. That's a big thing. 
So let's talk about some cutting capacity. So at your regular 90 degree, it can cut two and nine sixteenths deep. At a 45 degree angle, it'll cut one and nine sixteenths deep. The maximum bevel of 47 degrees, it'll cut an inch and a half deep. Now the battery is a five amp hour battery. That's what comes with it with a 160 watt fast charger. I really like the aesthetic look of this battery. Number one, it's got lights on both sides so it makes it really super easy to see exactly where the charge is and the button to figure out where the charge is is right out in the open. You don't have to search around for it, it's right there. So the box and the instructions say that it's a fast charger. We agree with that. It took 35 minutes to get to full charge on that regular 160 watt charger. I think that's pretty fast to get to a full charge on a five amp hour battery. Another thing we really liked is the installation of the batteries on the tool itself. We've had many tools that those were really stiff when we really got when we first got them and they were hard to do. Not on this. Slides in, locks in place very easy. We really like that. So let's talk about the warranty a little bit. It's a little confusing because on the box it says a five year, but we went on the website to register and on there it says limited lifetime warranty on the whole tool, including the batteries through the end of 2023. So if you buy in the year of 2023, to be sure and go on and register, I think you got 30 days and it says right there, limited lifetime warranty. So now I want to talk about some of the features that I thought were really cool and I really like. Number one is a work light. As soon as you touch that switch with the battery on, that work light comes on for about 10 seconds. You don't even have to fire up the tool. Just pull that switch a little bit and that work light comes on. I think that's a pretty cool feature. It has a maximum of 47 degree angle that it'll cut, but it has this little spring stop at 45. And in order to go over to 47, you just have to pull that spring and then you can go to the full 47. Another thing I really like is the calibrated markings on that bar. Now other circular saws have that too, but that's a really neat feature that you can just set for different calibrations, you can go right to that and you know you're set at the right depth. So something that was different on this, again, that I hadn't seen before is the dust port. It actually has a dust port for hooking up a hose to it. We don't do that because we cut outside, but if you have a problem with dust, that makes it kind of nice that you can hook up a dust port vacuum right to it. We're gonna keep the dust port on because it blows most of the sawdust right out to the side rather than coming right up in your face. So that's a really cool feature. So another thing that comes into play, like I mentioned before, it feels nice and sturdy is the foot. That's the plate. It's beefy. It's nice and solid and it's much heavier and much more solid than other circular saws that I've used. So this thing also comes with a really sturdy, heavy hook. If you're working construction, you can hang it on two by fours or two by sixes. We don't really use that. So we'll probably remove it and it, it is removable. And then it comes with a little cap to go right in the place of that hook, which is really cool. Here's another thing thing that I think is really neat design. It is just as usable if you're left-handed or right-handed. That little lock button that you have to depress before you pull the trigger, uh, it works just as easy on the left side as on the right. Another feature that I like that isn't necessarily exclusive to this is the hex key that you need for changing the blade is stored right in the side of the saw and it's a nice friction fit and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so we try to buy American whenever we possibly can. This is Flex, which is owned by Skill, which is located in Illinois. So Skill is actually owned by Shervon, which is actually a Chinese company. So unfortunately, the world we live in is a lot of tools that even though they are an American company, they're assembled or made in Mexico or China. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is in the world that we live in today. So now let's talk about the cons. Never done this before, guys. I can't find one. Literally, I cannot find anything wrong with this tool. I just want to use this thing over and over and over. I, I just can't find anything wrong. The price point at about $250 for this kit, that is comparable to any other saw out there just about. You could probably find a cheaper one, but it's not going to be anywhere near the quality of this one. All in all, guys, this thing is two thumbs up, and if I had a third 
third thumb, it would be three thumbs up. This thing is a beast. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to use it some more. And you guys, if something comes up that then it fails or something goes wrong, we will let you know. But as of right now, this is the go-to saw for us. So we want to say thank you to Flex. Thank you for sending us these tools. This saw is just, it's an amazing piece of machinery. Just super impressed with it. So you guys watching, if you have any questions, anything we can answer for you, we'll absolutely do that. Email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Don't forget to go to the link in the description below to the Flex Tools website and you can find out more information about their tools and this specifically. So thanks again for watching guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.